Hey everyone, welcome to Prompt 28. Today's aunt is very surprised by the other's drawing, so let's see what I'm going to be drawing today. Roller skates and rain boots. Two shoes, huh? All right, here we go, roller skates and rain boots. So this is another one of those prompts where I kind of feel like I played it safe, but I was very happy with all of the sketches that I did. In fact, I kind of had trouble picking which sketch I wanted to work on, which isn't entirely a bad problem to have. I'd rather have too many sketches that I want to work on than no sketches that I want to work on and be completely unhappy with the illustration. So like I said, I feel like these sketches were a little bit on the safer side, but as far as just drawing and having a cute illustration, I'm not too upset with that, I guess. I just need to keep reminding myself to just have fun with these, and as long as I'm drawing, that's all that matters. It's good to push myself, but just have fun. So for my first sketch, for whatever reason, this is the first thing that popped into my hat. My hat. Did you guys know that I actually don't come up with these ideas on my own? They actually come out of my hat. I just reach in there like a magician, and <laughs> that's what I'm drawing. So the first thing that came to my head was two characters that were, I guess coming out of different dimensions, like upside down. Does that make, I don't even know what I'm saying. So I came up with this rabbit and this frog character. One would be dressed up in rain boots and a rain attire and the other one with their roller skates and I guess like an 80s workout type of vibe to it. So they would be touching and it would just be a cute little illustration. I don't know. For the second one, I drew this simple girl just holding the rain boots and the roller skates and she doesn't know which pair of shoes she wants to wear today. For some reason, I keep exploring this very simple illustration style when I do these sketches, and it's almost something that I would like to do as like, I guess a series of illustrations. Just a very simple, cute style that could be used uh, quickly, I guess. And for the third sketch, I drew the girl wearing one of each shoe and she can't walk. Who'd have thunk? So she's having a rough time of it. So as you can see, I did settle with the frog and the rabbit, mainly because the other two sketches were just a character there, which I've done plenty. I've never done a character upside down interacting with another character, so heck, why not? I am a little bummed about this video though, and I will tell you why. Do you remember in prompt 23 when I tried to record an illustration and layer them over each other so they kind of faded into each other? And I said, oh no, my stand sucks and it slowly droops. So that really ruined the effect for that. Well, I bought me a nice fancy little holder thing, Gildangle. And so I was super excited to try that again. I was going to have my hand coming from the bottom right and then I would go on the other side of the desk and my hand would be coming from the top left and it would look like two hands were working on the illustration at once. And I bumped the camera stand when I changed positions. So it's a little askew and I couldn't do it. So now I'm super sad and now this is a boring video instead of a super cool video with two hands. <laughs> oh well, I'll just have to work even harder next time I have this idea and try to squeeze it into another video. And no bumping stands, dang it. So when creating these two characters, I wanted to kind of limit their color palette because I didn't want them all over the place as usual. So when I did the bunny, I made her gray and I tried to only use purple and pink because I was going for that 80s kind of situation. Bright colors are really common, but I just wanted to choose two and I don't know, I chose pink and purple. <laughs> I think she looks really nice. She's nice and pastel-y, but also still kind of colorful. And her whole get-up matches pink and purple and her skates. Wow. Good fashion choices, Bunny. Hey, look, there's my hand in the other position. Sigh. So when coloring the frog, um, making it green was, I guess, the obvious choice to do. I thought about making it a bluish teal color, but I kind of wanted to complement the bunny a little bit. Because green and red are compliments, I kind of stuck with the pink and the green. And with the yellow, it complements purple, so that's why I did that. I guess that's all I really have to say about this piece. Let's talk about something else. 
I wanted to invite all of you to join me in this prompt adventure. A lot of you have been coming up to me and asking what to do during Art Block, and I think this is the perfect solution. Obviously, I'm not saying this is a guaranteed fix for your art block, but it has certainly worked for me. So if art is your thing and you don't know what to draw, or you just want to join in, feel free to draw the prompt when I upload a video, and you can share that to me on Twitter, or I have created a Discord chat for everybody, and you can find that link in the description. I would love to see what you guys come up with these prompts, because everyone comes up with such different ideas. I think it would be a lot of fun, so feel free to join in. And I guess that's another prompt finished. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.